by identifying clearly what you intend to achieve, working out how you want to achieve it, it will help you focus your resources. My name is Stephen Murray, I'm the Impact Assessor at the United Kingdom Erasmus Plus National Agency. It's a workshop exercise, uh, it's designed for uh, project partners to come together and try and talk through uh, what impact is for their project and what it means for each of them. The impact guide itself, uh, it's a short series of exercises, a, a facilitated stage through a workshop, almost a, a cross sign, the plus. Uh, you, you gather around a work table and put this tool in front of you uh, and, and there are four stages of potential impact, whether that's systemic, learners, organisations or project staff. Stage one of the Impact Plus tool is exploring project aims and objectives. So the impact of your project, it may be to enhance the learning experience of learners. And that goes straight into the middle box of the exercise. You've now got a reference point in the centre box. What we want partners to do now is just discuss different things that could indicate that they have achieved some progress towards the impact in the centre. At this stage, there's nothing that's right or wrong. Partners can put anything they want you just write them down on a piece of paper and put them in each box as you go around. You can perhaps discuss each side box in turn and think about what kind of things might be relevant for learners. Would it be an accredited qualification? Could it be improved satisfaction? There could be things for institutions, the partners involved. You might capture changes in the way that they do things or the way that they structure their courses. In turn as well, that may lead to other benefits for your staff in terms of increased satisfaction with their jobs increased motivation and then finally there's the systemic side it may be that your course module that you develop and, and operate is adopted by other institutions or accredited by curriculum authority stage two is exploring the outcome and output indicators in a bit more detail the impact plus tool itself uh, has a scale against each of those four boxes on it ranked from one to five so what you can do there is as a group you can collectively discuss uh, how important each of those four boxes and the impact notes that you've put in each of them are to your project. You shouldn't rank every one of the four outside boxes as top impact. Uh, you shouldn't rate every note as very important. There's got to be some kind of filtering process going on here. What you can do is simple exercise. You can pull all the short notes that you've written in each box, lay them out on the table in front of you and then ask each partner to rank them. Simple way of doing that is to just have two different coloured stickers, one red, one green. Stage three of the Impact Plus exercise is about identifying potential data sources and data collection methods. It's very similar to the very first stage where you put all your, your notes on the, uh, the outside boxes. You extract your chosen indicators, place them on the table in front of you or on a sheet, and then you ask all of the partners present, just write down on the note, ideas for potential data sources. One of the best ways to, to uh, make best use of your time and resources is to look at what's already there. Stage four of the Impact Plus exercise is about bringing it all together. There's a simple tool that we've, been, that we've provided. It's just a, a, a simple table uh, that helps you drop all this information into. It's a nice, easy reference piece, simple for you to print off and stick on the wall in the office so you always know exactly what your project's supposed to be doing and how you intend to capture the information. About it. You can now go off and start designing your questionnaires or delving deeper into your uh, data, set, data sets and databases. Downloading the tool is really simple. You just go to the Erasmus Plus National Agency website and look for the tool on our Impact Assessment Resources page.